Mr. Castro is recognized. Well, thank you, Chairman. Uh, I strongly oppose Iran's efforts to develop a nuclear weapon and support efforts to stop that from happening, as we all do. In fact, we did have a working strategy to do that called the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. If the JCPOA was in effect today, Iran would have had real constraints on its nuclear capability and we would have had valuable time to figure out how to oppose its nuclear ambitions and other malign activities. I was extremely disappointed that the Trump administration decided to remove these constraints on Iran's nuclear program by violating and then withdrawing from the JCPOA. I believe that in this resolution, if we're discussing the threat that Iran's nuclear program poses, we need to be honest about how and why we got here. I additionally have some reservations about the language in this resolution. In particular, the language that states that the United States must, quote, use all means necessary to prevent Iran from attaining a nuclear weapon. Uh, that language is, is categorical, and my concern is it could, be, it could be construed as language of an AUMF. I understand the value in making statements like this to provide leverage, but that's only relevant if there's an active diplomatic process to provide Iran an alternative. We must bring Iran back to the table, and I'm disappointed that this language is not paired with a strong call for diplomacy so Iran has an opportunity to avoid conflict. I yield back, Chairman. Chairman Yields, I, I, uh, this resolution is simply one of, to make it clear what the policy of the United States is and to provide deterrence to allow the diplomats then to do their job. It seems to me if the Congress states unequivocally that a nuclear run is not acceptable, that will only empower our diplomats when they go to the negotiating uh, table. 